I made an enclosure for my Anchor Make M5 3D printer, changing the sound levels from something like this. to something like this. Let's hear it again. The enclosure comprises of 4 times 500 mm by 500 mm plexiglass. The frame for this glass was created in Fusion 360, and printed using my Creality 3D print mill. I am releasing the STL files as it is and I hope if anyone needs them. It will be possible to remix the design in a way that makes it easy to print in standard 3D printers. There are some slicers that allow you to cut STL files, e.g. Prusa slicer. The glass is 3 mm thick. For assembly, apply glue to the slot, then fit the glass in. You do not have to apply the glue to the entire length, as I realized later. But, once the glass sits in, slide the frame up and down, to distribute the glue relatively evenly. Please note that it is a relatively tight fit. After assembly, I screwed the whole unit together overnight, using self-tapping screws. I literally just used whatever I could get from my toolbox, but anything about 3mm will do. I used MDF for the roof, or shall I say the top. This slot for the spool holder was measured manually, after the assembly, but here are the approximate measurements. There is a slot at the back, for the power plug, which I did not quite capture correctly. The dimensions shown are from the near edge, and the bottom of the enclosure. I used a drill to create this slot. There is also an arrangement at the top, for feeding the filament. After the assembly, I realized that I now had a problem. This is something that I did not take into account when designing the enclosure. The filament holder needs to be extended if the filament is to fit. So I made a simple 3D printed extender. I have used 4mm threaded inserts and 4mm allen screws to attach the extended to the printer. It is also possible to just use screws, nuts and washers for this. I have also had to use the extender without screwing it to the printer, this is because it is actually designed to slide into the printer's filament holder bar. The spool holder for the extended requires 2 times 8 mm by 22 mm by 7 mm bearings. The original shaft feeds through this bearing and the screw to the extender. I needed to heat up the bearing a bit for easy fitting. The first iteration of this design used two different bearing sizes, but it is better with just one bearing size. Fitting the bearing to the shaft was a bit difficult, so I had to use a hammer to gently tap it in. This probably would have been easier, if I were patient enough to let the bearing heat up to say 80 to 100 degrees centigrade. Remember not to heat bearings to excessive temperatures. Also remember high temperatures can cause serious injury, so be cautious about heating up bearings. Please note that the print may require some cleaning to make it easy to fit the bearing. Take caution with extreme measures, ideally, I should use a copper or rubber mallard for this, neither of which I have. The last bit is screwing the shaft in. It should be screwed in tight, this will not interfere with the bearing, because, clearance is built into the design, but be careful, 
remember it is still 3D printed plastic. There is also a bracing at the front of the enclosure. And finally, there are two hinges, one towards the top and the other towards the bottom of the door. They are fitted to the frame, using M3 bolts, of length 10 mm. Threaded inserts are recommended for fitting the hinges. In my case, I do not have a lot of space, and one of my desks stops the door, so the door is not fully fitted to the enclosure. But the two halves should be fitted together using 60 mm long M4 bolts and nuts. So I was able to finally test the filament and the enclosure setup. I have to say, this enclosure is not ideal. A lot of work, but I just get satisfaction from designing it. Please note that the enclosure just has enough space for the printer and if not properly fitted, the printer may hit the door when homing. There is, also not a lot of space for changing filament. If you are trying to build this, please check for commercially available enclosures, as that may be a cheaper and easier option for you. Thank you for watching this video, please, give my video a thumbs up, and subscribe to help build my channel.